Hello all, welcome to Tech Tapture. Myself Vishal Bulbule, and in this video, we are going to see about Cloud Armor in GCP. So basically, why we need a Cloud Armor? So Cloud Armor is useful to protect your web application from the different kinds of cyber attacks. So we'll see in a practical way what is a Cloud Armor. We'll create some Cloud Armor policies, and we'll see how we can protect your web application also. So first, we'll see what is Cloud Armor in a theoretical way. So Cloud Armor helps you protect your Google Cloud deployments from multiple type of threats including distributed denial of service, cross-site scripting and SQL ingestion. So these are different kinds of technique used by hacker to hack your application or the database. So we'll see uh, details of this in a separate video but I'll just try to summarize you on this. So a distributed denial of service attack is a malicious attempt to disturb the normal traffic of a targeted server service or a network by overwhelming the target or its surrounded infrastructure with the flood of a internet traffic it means like suppose if you have a web server so what hacker will do hacker will just try to bombard your web server with a huge amount of internet traffic so you might have seen if you are filing your uh, income tax returns or if you are using a website for a last day of a deadline then you might see a slowness or sometimes errors also that's just because number of users are trying to access that application at the same times and it just make website to be a uh, irresponsive or it will not respond a proper way or a normal way so the same way it the technique will be used by hackers so they will just bombard your application with huge amount which cannot be tolerated by the application and application might crash or it might not respond to the service so that is a ddos attack second is a cross site scripting or xss so in this type of attack so what hacker will do hacker will try to utilize the comment section or a review section of your application where you can post some details and that will be displayed on the website so just take example of facebook post so you can write a post in your text section and once you click on post it will just display on the Facebook web page so hacker will try to utilize such kind of uh, text field inside your application and they will try to put a malicious web scripting code and they will try to plant their code inside your website source code so in that way they will get access to your website and they can control your website or hack your website the third is the SQL ingestion so it is a code ingestion technique used to put a malicious SQL code in your entry field of your application to get access to your uh, database so that is also a very harmful technique used by a uh, hacker so i have created separate videos on sql ingestion also i will share the link in the description you can go through that video now these are different type of cyber attacks and if you are using google cloud you can use a cloud armor to protect your application from these kind of a uh, cyber attacks now i'll go to my cloud console so here i have created a one virtual machine called a web app and inside this virtual machine i have deployed a simple web application and i am accessing this web application using this ip address so i'll just try to show you i'll just copy this ip address and i'll put here so this is a very simple web page and web application so here i am just trying to enter some details so i'll just give username as a visual and password as a one two three four five so i'm not adding any kind of validation so i just created it for a demo and once i click on login it will just show me you are inside your application so don't worry about the username and passwords are displaying here so i just created it only for a demo purpose now i also created one load balancer here along with this virtual machine so for this virtual machine i have created a unmanaged instance group so this instance group will contain this web app virtual machine yeah web app and top of this instance group i have created a load balancer so i will take the load balancer ip and it will show the same web application as you have seen in a virtual machines ip okay now always remember if you want to use a cloud armor your application should be behind the load balancer they can only you can set up a cloud rule cloud armor policies and rule okay 
so this is our web application now we'll try to protect or try to do some experiment on our web application using the cloud armor so i'll go to my cloud console and i'll open cloud armor okay so here currently there are no policies i'll create one default policy first so the default policy will just give a name as a default policy and i'll click deny for default and error i'll just give bad gateway i'll add target so if asked to add target you could see only option is to load balancer backend service so we have one backend service web app which we created so i'll add that backend service and i'll create policy so it will take a moment to propagate our changes because till now you could see load balancer is still showing the application and we'll try to wait for a couple of minutes and then we'll try to refresh it again okay i'll try to reload it now okay it's reloaded and you could see the error 403 forbidden let me see what error we have set in our policy i'll just try to see that error code we set yeah 403 forbidden we have set 403 forbidden error in our policy so we can set any of these uh, three error 404 or 502 bad gateway okay so now uh, okay here so whenever we try to access this ip it will show a 402 403 forbidden error now i'll try to set one more rule inside this policy so here you could see the priority it is showing very high number now i'll try to set one more rule with a low priority so i'll just give a star here and now instead of deny i will create one allow rule with a low priority allow rule now i'll just show you one advanced mode here i want to allow users only from the india so how i can do that so here you can just uh, type origin of traffic using origin dot region code is equal to equal to what india it is in okay so i want to allow traffic only for a uh, origin is india so currently i am accessing this application from india so it should allow me even though it is denying for all the traffic so i'll just set this i'll action now priority i should set a lower so lower the number higher the priority here you could see priority is evaluated from zero to this number so zero is highest and this is lowest so the lower the number higher the priority so i'll just click on add and once it is created it should be accessible to me as i am sending traffic from india okay it will take a couple of moment to reflect all right let me try it now to reload okay now it's loading for the users in the india now how we can confirm that it's allowing only from users in india so we can try one thing we'll create a one a simple virtual machine in a us region okay so i'll just create a machine called a us client
I will select application VPC, the same VPC. Or I will choose a different VPC. So it will go through internet. And I will create. Okay, once it is created, I'll log in inside this virtual machine. Okay, I'll log in here. I'll just copy the IP address of load balancer. Okay, so let me now try to call this IP. We'll see what, okay, it's already having HTTP. Let me remove the one which I typed. Okay, and do you see anything here? 403 forbidden. So we are getting 403 forbidden for the US users and if we are accessing from India we are able to access the application it means you can block the traffic from particular region even you can block the traffic based on IP address as well but I just want to show you the difference between firewall and armor so firewall is separately a different completely different uh, than the cloud armor now suppose I want to login into the this application i'll just type suppose abc and i will type my password something and once i do login it will just uh, show me you are inside a application now i want to show this home page to a user but i don't want to login all my users or my india users inside the application so suppose where is my IP address of load balancer? Yeah. So I am fine if users are able to see the login script, but I don't want users to log in into my application. So I don't want them to view this actual screen. Okay. So how I will do that? So I will go here and I will create a rule, add rule. and again I will go in advanced mode and here I will just uh, type request.path contents login then deny deny and the error now I will just give 502 bad gateway priority again i will keep it as a thousand i'll just do 900 that's thousand was already taken okay and now we'll see for india users also it will block the login page because for now we are able to see this web application page once we log in now we'll wait for some time again to propagate the changes now one more thing why i added a path as a login because whenever we are logging you could see your login url will have your ip address slash login so i am just saying if a path contains this a uh, login that don't allow users to see this a uh, web page now i'll try to reload this page you could see a bad gateway again i am go to my main home page here 
now see I am from India location I can see the home page but if I try to log in I will just type ABC and password something and if I log in it will immediately give an error bad gateway because I am allowed to access home page but I am not allowed to access a page which I can see after the login so we can set path based rules also using the cloud armor and if we go inside here add rule you could see there are number of parameters on which you can set a rules and there is a separate we can use this advanced mode to set the rule and here this rule syntax helps also help us to see the different kinds of attributes we can use so we can put IP address also suppose if you want to block traffic from particular IP or we know that is IP from a malicious applications or this is something which should not be reach out to our application we can block that IP then here on a region code so as we already seen this then a method headers if your header contains particular string or something and you want to block the traffic then also you can use this path request scheme so that's it for a uh, cloud armor we'll see uh, more videos on cloud armor in detail in a few sessions so thank you for watching this video and we'll see you in a uh, next videos